Past the back to Mr. Beans. Now I just need to carry my bottle. And I realized, right, I shouldn't be carrying this bag when I wear the new shorts. So I'm trying to let it not touch it when, as much as I can. Yeah. Oh. Alright, Holland Village. I'm gonna go that um, Surrey Hills that we didn't manage to go that time. Magic today. Oh. Like the white and black. Hmm. Don't you Ah, baby. Eh. Why do you get me a Hey, 
just finished our lunch. Just lunch or brunch at Surrey Games. I'm them full eh. I've been gaining weight. I need to stop. And we're playing the cashier very nice. She said my phone case is very cute and that she loves melody, my melody. So I told her she can get the phone case. Oh sorry, from shop. I paid the bill. Provider mindset. I just tested you. <laughs> Do you look like a provider in my book? <laughs> yeah. And Sabine has been awake for um, I don't know how many hours. Since yesterday morning. Oh, the sun. Yeah. You want to buy for tofu? Mm. <laughs> Which one? This one? Oh, God, she looks so cute inside here. She would She would like to scratch this. She wouldn't. Why? I really got scratched. Because she likes Dior. Bean's going to buy a Dior accessory for tofu. The cheapest one. Oh. Hello. 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 One, it's only one two zero. Young guy for Miss Tofu. She's not a sports. Just like me. Hey. Actually, not bad. Huh? Mr. Bean's considering temporary tofu and bring her here. I got this on camera tofu. He's gonna bring her here. He's gonna bring her to the the aroma therapy. Mm -hmm. This is Juliet with you on the 16th of March, TPU Company till 5 o'clock. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Nathan. Yeah. My lash leave because they are like disappearing. It's been about, I think it's been like eight weeks. So, yeah, it's at um, somewhere near Shenton. So, I'm at Orchard now. 
going to change to the Thompson East Coast Line. I usually try to buffer in some time for situations like this. So yeah, just have to take one more stop to the current station. Hope I won't be beat at home. Oh, no. Finally at the current station, it's Shenzhen Way. Man, every time I'm at Shenzhen MRT, it brings me back the good memories of my old workplace. And I say good because probably like I had a lot of fun working there despite all the stresses. Like overall it was still a very fun and pleasant experience because of the people. Shout out to my ex-colleagues if you are watching this. Yeah, so actually when you exit from here, this is the my old office building. Yeah, and so my lash place is actually very near my old office. It's at Oxley Tower. Going there now. I am a bit late, and I really need to go to the toilet. satisfied with today's one. I don't know if you all can see but basically there's two staff who do the lash lift. Right? I think one is the boss and another is her staff. Actually I honestly prefer the staff because I can tell that she does it very thoroughly and she takes longer to do it. But the end results are very good lah. Like even the inner lashes which I think are a bit hard to do right. She will lift them properly. So yeah very satisfied and it only took one hour if not longer. So I was thinking like, hey, is it she do very thoroughly, then it takes longer than one hour, but no, actually it was one hour, now I'm pretty delicious. Now I'm gonna go for a very late lunch, it's 2pm. Initially I wanted to go town, but I was thinking since I'm already at CBD, might as well go somewhere in CBD. But I need to find somewhere that's open now, uh, because it's a Sunday, so not many places might be open, but I'll just walk around and see. Like straight down and somehow ended up at Lao Basa. And it looks like there are some stores open, so let's take a look. I haven't been here for quite a while actually since I got in my second job. Well, you would think it's very easy to find coffee places in this area, which is 
like Amoy Street, the Papaya Street, but it's not that. It's not that it's weekend though. There's not a lot of like coffee places actually. Okay, maybe there is, but like, I'm very fussy, and I don't want to go back to places I already tried. Like I walked past Craftsman Coffee, which I tried before. Plain Vanilla, which I tried before. So I'll try to find something new. For this, I think I know what this is, so let's unbox it. Yeah, I actually only have one more parcel other than this that got delivered to my house, so um, I have other parcels waiting to arrive because of three three. So, yeah, I'll see whether I want to unbox the other things for my block two. I mean, for my block two, yeah. Oh my god, look, this is what I got. So, if you guys watched my previous vlog where I did the coloring and when I went to Brass Bazaar to buy like coloring stuff, you know that I'm into coloring. So, after that whole vlog, I actually did like um. Um, do my kind of research on Shopee to look at like colouring books for adults adults and like colour pencils but actually I don't know if you guys saw like on TikTok um, there's kind of like it's not a trend but it's like trendy to get these kind of like colouring markers which seems very nice to colour but I think if you buy this outside right it's pretty expensive so I managed to find this from Shopee the prices are quite affordable and look it comes in a bag and there's 24 colours they come in more colours than 24 but I got this because I mean, I'm not a serious colorer artist, so I just wanted to get something basic. And like, I might want to like bring this out to like go to like outside, like maybe cafes. So people judge me, but like go to cafes to color, so I can just like put this in my bag. Obviously, I'm not gonna carry like this. I mean, you can if you want, but I'm just gonna like pop it in my bag, and it's gonna be portable. So yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna try it now. So maybe I don't know. I'll update you guys next time on how the quality is. But look, there's so many colors. Oh my god, this color looks really nice. Um, let me see if I can show you how it looks like. So yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen these on like TikTok or whatever. So it comes with like two sides. This is like the finer tip. And this is like something like highlighter like that. So yeah, I'm gonna use these to colour. Hope the quality is good. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys this. Um, this one I think was about 8 bucks. I'm not sure if it's cheaper because of um, 3 3 But anyway, I paid 8 bucks, which I think is super reasonable because there's like 24 colours, right? So 8 bucks divide like 24 colours is like what? Is it, th is it 30 cents? Is that how it works? Oh my god, sorry, I don't know it. I'll calculate and put it here. Yeah, but I think like I saw it, I think I saw these kind of markers at like the Brass Bazaar or like Brass Bazaar Complex Art Friend or like at popular stores. And usually I think the stores sell the individual pens for quite expensive at like, I don't know, can be maybe like five bucks or something per pen. But to be fair, I don't know whether like the quality is the same, like whether they are from the same uh, shop uh, supplier. Like is this like fake goods or what? I also don't know what to spot it from Shopee. Yeah. I'm sure to talk quickly and keep this short as you can tell because I realize I yet a lot for my vlogs, especially unboxing, so I'm gonna keep this short. Oh my god, next um sorry, we unbox it while talking, but next item, next parcel. You guys know what these is? Oh my god, so cute, right? They're cuter than I expected. Oh my god. Is there a sound? I don't know the tips don't work. But I don't know if you guys can tell this is actually um pet toys. I think maybe for dogs. Uh. But I bought this for um my daughter. I got photo here. The beans cat, but I'm the self-proclaimed mother. So yeah, I bought these um, toys to like bribe her to love me when I first visit her this Friday. So I'm gonna bring this over. It's good some sweet toys there. Oh. It works. So this is like a lollipop. It's really cute. The colour is very sweet. It's made, like a mini milk bottle when you have like a duck on it. I love ducks. Oh, got the sweet toys. Yeah. These were very cheap, like $1 plus per toy. Yay. I'll update you guys if she likes it or not. Okay, bye. Hey girlies, here to do a very quick unboxing because I um, have to ruin it myself now but I just heard my sister come back so I'm gonna do it damn fast, okay? By the way, from God, look at my hair. It's so nice after I wash my hair. It's always so frizzy like when I go out. Should I wash my hair more before I go out? Okay, sorry, it's like I need to quickly unbox this parcel. It just arrived today and it's something I bought from Shopee during 3-3 and if you watch my previous vlog, don't know which one, you know that I wanted to refill my hair serum and buy a new one from Innisfree but I didn't like the basic packaging so I decided to buy um, another brand that I used last time when I went to Korea, I bought this but I can't find it in the shops in Singapore so 
I just didn't like buy it because I'm lazy to like buy it online lah. It's like easier to just buy from the store. But ta-da! I got this is from how do you pronounce it? Maison Sen or something. It's a Korean brand, I think. I mean, you can see the Korean words. And I think the last time I was in Korea, I bought the rose one, and it smelled really nice. And fun fact, I wore this um like during that period when I wore this right. I had my first date with Mr. Beans and he said my hair smells really nice. So it was this. But I also bought others to try. This one is um super rich just to try. And this one is watery. So yeah, here it is. Um I think it was only about like eight bucks, eight to ten bucks each for a three-three sale. Here it is, okay, bye. <laughs> Hey guys, I just ended work. It's a Thursday night. Do I look tired? I am tired. Anyway, I picked up another parcel from the pick box, pick locker. Still can't get the name right. So that I'll just do a quick unboxing. Feel like it's not necessarily large box. Because the item is actually pretty small. Let me show you guys what I got. Wow, it's packaged pretty well. There's a lot of paper. So much paper just for a small box, but well, oh, it's a very nice box. So this is a clay mask from Beauty of Joseon. I actually heard of this brand because of their sunscreen. I think I saw it on TikTok or like Lemonade or whatever. So I usually use a finished freeze clay mask, but as you know recently, their packaging is like not it. So I thought, okay, like, time for me to try a new mask because I've been using the Innisfree one for like years since like, my uni days. So yeah, here it is. Let me show you guys how it looks like inside. So this clay mask, oh, it's pretty big, like the portion, and it comes with a scooper, but it's just like in a box like this, which is a little old, and I just dropped it, which is a little gross to me, so I mean, I can wash it lah, may or may not use it, I don't know, usually I just wash my hands, then I'll use my hand to apply it, but here it is, a red bean mask, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of bought it because like, the colour looks very nice, and I love red bean, but yeah, I'll update you guys whether it's good or not, or maybe I won't, I don't think I'll remember to, but yeah, this was like, I don't know, like $16 or something, which I think is not bad, like the easiest free one that I buy is like, Almost twenty dollars. Oh, is it fifteen? Honestly, I don't know. But yeah, this is it. Cremas.